Check in now with Storm Team 2 meteorologist Melissa Barrington. We've been talking about how extensive this storm has been so far. It's not letting up anytime soon. That's the problem. It's not. And if you go outside and if you haven't already shoveled the snow, it's very compact. Right. And so it's actually going to be very heavy, very difficult to shovel, especially if you have any health issues whatsoever. This is very heavy snow. However, for the kids, this is great snowball making weather and great for a snowman if they want to do that tonight. But let's go ahead and take a look at what's going on here. Here's a look at the roadways as Adam was mentioning along I-75 here. You can see traffic is moving, but it is slower because we're starting to see some bursts of some very heavy snow that is moving through the area. And earlier, like I said, it is mixing in with some sleet in some locations, and that's going to change road conditions rather rapidly as we continue to go throughout the night. Again, here's a look at Live Doppler 2 HD. The area that I'm concerned about right now are these areas that are extremely dark blue. There's one that's heading towards you in Xenia. It's lifting its way northward. And then there's another batch here out to our west. And this area here is where we're seeing extremely large snowflakes. And also, it is changing over to sleet and freezing rain. So that is getting compacted on top of the snow that's already fallen today. So that snowpack is very dense very heavy. So just be aware of that in case you haven't cleared your driveway yet. It's going to take some time. You might need to find a neighborhood kid who maybe could help you out with that if that's a possibility. Here's another look at where that uh, snow is changing over to sleet. It's this area here that's highlighted in yellow. And it's a pretty, uh, it's, na it's a narrow band, but it is covering a lot of locations here all the way out towards I-71 as you head out towards Washington Courthouse and all the way over into the western edge of Montgomery County. So it's affecting a lot of folks. So tonight, Road conditions will continue to change as we get snow, we get sleet, and maybe even some freezing rain. And then areas that are already wet, as the temperature drops, we're going to see patchy areas of ice. So be aware of that if you're heading out and about. Tomorrow morning, we are looking at slick travel conditions with snow showers and flurries. By tomorrow night, though, the roads should be in pretty good shape. Satellite and radar together showing this huge, massive storm system. It extends from Kansas City right now all the way over to the East Coast, and the snow is not over yet. We've had some breaks throughout the day, but then another surge comes in. You can see here still a lot of moisture trying to work its way northward. As it gets into the colder air, it changes over to snow. So we do still have winter storm watches or warnings in effect across the southern part of the Miami Valley through 7 a.m. tomorrow morning. And our northern viewing area is under a winter weather advisory through tomorrow morning. So your winter weather index for tonight, we're expecting another one to two inches possible of snow and again, patchy areas of ice. And sometimes when you have that snow outside, you may, if you actually looked at the snow, you may see several layers, like you may have snow and then ice and then snow and then ice. And that's what makes it very difficult to shovel. Temperatures, though, for the most part, have been steady throughout the entire day. 27 in Bell Fountain, 28 Troy. Now, we, as we get a little bit further south, where that area is mixing in with rain, that's where the temperature is more critical. 30 in Xenia, 31 in Springboro, and 30 degrees in Dayton. And that's why we're starting to see that mix over at this time. The wind is out of the east at 10 miles an hour, and the brown is at 30.27 inches. Here's some snowfall totals. They are rapidly changing as we go throughout the afternoon and evening. And you can see here West Alexandria, that's in Preble County, they've had five inches. Bradford, they've had five inches. Kettering, four inches. Dayton has almost had four inches of snow as well. Here's some of our weather checker numbers, and we've had four and a half in Xenia. And we've had five up in Salina, six inches in Camden, and earlier today we had three inches in Springboro. So your forecast here for the, this evening, we're looking at snow showers still, one to two inches, and then tomorrow morning we're going to be waking up to some snow showers. Temperatures for tomorrow afternoon into the lower 30s. Here's a look at future track as we go throughout the night. You'll see that we still may see some snow showers overnight through tomorrow morning, and then tomorrow we're just going to be left with cloudy skies throughout the day. By tomorrow night, though, Skies will try to clear a little bit. Temperatures tonight dropping down into the upper 20s, not a lot of change. And then tomorrow we'll see highs generally right around the freezing mark. So your forecast here for tonight, 27 flurries and snow showers, an additional 1 to 2 inches of snow. Then tomorrow morning, uh, snow showers and flurries, a high of 33. And that extended forecast here, dry weather, back to work, back to school on Monday with a high of freezing. And temperatures staying in the 30s for all of next week.